Hello, I'm at Super Judge now. We bless God for yesterday was awesome. <laughs> you know how you just start out, you want to, you want to teach the word of God, and then the Holy Spirit just takes you, you know, to do what He wants wants to do. Now, I say yes, sir, to Him. Praise <laughs> God. And Lord, whatever you have in your mind today, we are ready. Just, just, just do what you 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 know is best for everyone listening and on watching right now. We submit completely to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for utterance. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Now, I want to read something to you. Psalm chapter 14 and verse 2. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. We read this last week. I just want to look at it again. It says, The Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men. To see if there are any who understand, who seek God. What's God looking for? God is looking for a people. Remember, Jesus said something to the woman at the well. He said, God is seeking for such to worship. There is a people God is looking out for. Now, now when you say he's looking out, not that he's looking and looking. He, he knows the stuff that you are made of. That's why here he says, to see if there are any who understand. Listen, God has done several things in your life. The question is to you, have you come to the place of understanding? I've always said this. Any supernatural occurrence you see happen at least twice in your life. You should get understanding that this is how God works with me. I mean, I said supernatural occurrence. No, an occurrence in your life that you, will, you can see and God is involved. It has happened twice in your life. At least twice. I remember on the 1st of, of, of December, during our 24 hours fasting and prayer, we're having this prayer meeting online via Zoom. And I think it's about the 3 o'clock watch, we're praying that prayer. And then the Lord gave us an instruction. He said, Take, take an offering. Listen, when we hold meetings, because the Lord is the one in charge. We don't say what we want to say. We don't instruct what we want to instruct. He commands us, and we just obey. So I don't even know what I'm going to say next. I'm telling the truth. Now, that not in a bad way, because I, I follow him. So, we, the Lord gave us this instruction. He said, look, <clears throat> take an offering. And, and I think I sense the Lord saying, I should do this. I should tell you this also. You will take an offering in your hands. And then, you're a child of God, remember. Now, you sit down and try to remember at least two miracles. I mean, when I say two miracles, I'm not just saying things that you coin to be a miracle. Two things that you know in your heart that this was God, that have to do with God providing for you or meeting your needs, either paying a bill for you, getting food to you, that has occurred in your life. Two. Sit down and think. At least two miracles, two things, two times you have seen such miracles in your life. Maybe you didn't have money and then you were thinking of how to get something done. Someone just shows up. I'm not saying the one you started calling people and it's one of the people you called and I say, okay, then that's not what I'm talking about. You can't tell if that was a miracle. Even if you say, I give glory to glory to God, you can't really tell if that was a miracle or that was, I'm talking about. You, you, you sat down, you look at the, the trace of this thing, and there is no way 
you cannot say this is not a miracle. You know what I mean by that? If you can find two. Write those miracles down. This was instruction the Lord gave, and I'm giving it to you now. Write those things down. And write under it. Lord, on the basis of these two miracles, I believe that it is you who have taken the responsibility to meet my needs. Now listen to me. Thank God this is, this is, this, you can play back this thing so you get it right. So he said, Lord, I believe that you are responsible for meeting my needs because of these two occurrences in my life. Now, maybe I didn't take it seriously before now. Maybe these things happened five years ago, ten years ago, but two miracles. If you can find two in your life, not another person's life, your life, that God met your need. I'm talking in terms of finances. You know what I mean? Provision. So I'm not talking about health right now. I'm not talking about getting a job right now. I'm talking about, you see, because the season we're entering is going to be tough. That's why the Lord is giving this instruction. And if you listen and carry it out, all right. All right. So get those two miracles. Write them down. In fact, you can they, as detailed as you can remember. If you can remember the date these things happened, good. Write it down and say, Lord, by these two miracles, you have made me to trust you. So, Lord, I am willing now by understanding to believe that you will meet my needs. Not because I have a job. Not because I do this business. I am looking up to you to meet my needs now. Listen, you don't have to be expecting a miracle right now to do this, to pray this prayer that I'm telling you to pray. I'm telling you the prayer that will carry you through the season that we're going to go through. So, you say, Lord, I understand now. It is you who meet my needs. So, Lord, I'm coming to that place of trust today in you. And because Jesus said, I should give and it shall be given unto me. I know how you work, Lord. You will command men to give unto me. You will command people he, you come, he can command a bed. But you see, whatever you're going to get, you're going to receive it, right? So for me to receive, Jesus actually said, I should start the process by doing what? Give. When I give, I will receive. So now I've come to the place, that's what I'm leading you to do. You have come to the place of understanding that God gives to you. And if God gives to you, then I want to make it normal right now. That's what you're doing. So he said, Lord, based on what Jesus said, I come with this offering as my seed to give. And then you ask the Lord, Lord, there's this thing I want you to do for me. Can you lead me to where I should give this offering? That's very important. Why is it important? You see, Many times we do religious things without understanding. But what gives life and power to everything we do is the voice of God that we hear. I'm telling you the truth. If I tell you testimonies in my life, you know, it happens, you know, my wife and I sometimes, you know, we, we look at ourselves and we say, if we tell the details of every testimony that happens in our life. People will look at us strangely and say, what kind of human beings are you? I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. And that's how we're raising our children up to, to trust in the Lord. And let me tell you the truth. <laughs> they are getting it. Oh, they are getting it. 
Because they've begun to, ah, children have begun to see testimonies also in their lives. So when they are released into the world, the world have seen nothing. If <laughs> Jesus starts, <laughs> praise God. I'm telling you the truth. Testimonies that you, you hear and you're like, how? But it's so common to us. It's normal to us. You know, when it happens, we're just like, oh yeah, of course I was expecting that to happen. So, you say, Lord, that, 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 this is the secret. Every offering we give, now, now hear me, if you don't get this part, you miss everything. Every offering we give, we are certain to acknowledge the Lord and hear his voice. Now, it's either the Lord commands us to give the offering. You understand what I'm saying? So you're just doing your thing and then you hear the Lord say, I want you to give this amount of money to so and so person. Or I want you to give an offering to so and so person. And I say, okay, Lord. Okay. So I share with my wife. I say, this is what the Lord is saying. Say, okay, let's do it. Or she shares it with me. She says, she, she, she's getting this ministration in her heart. And I said, okay, let me, let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me ask the Lord concerning. And then there's a confirmation in my heart. Like, okay, so let's do it. Now, so we, we do it. We obey the Lord. Now, or sometimes, you know, we, we just feel like, Lord, what to give? Or we have, we have seasons that we give offerings. Or, or tithes especially, you know. So, Lord, thank you for blessing. What, what would you have us do with this tithe? Now, what's the secret in there? The moment the Lord commands you where to give or what to do with that money, it is proof that he has accepted it. And the moment you prove that this is where religion is broken, the moment he chooses to call, accept that offering, the moment you know that he has accepted that offering, go and sleep. Go and sleep. That thing, surely you will see it. <laughs> you don't need to, I'm, I'm telling you the truth, go sleep. The moment you doubt is because you are not sure he received it. And most likely you did it by the flesh. So you are hoping he would accept it. You don't hope he accepts your offering. You know he has accepted your offering. So how do you know? Ask him, Lord, I want to give this offering. Now that's why I'm leading you through this prayer. Say, Lord, I want to give this offering to you. But I want you to do something for me. Can you tell me? where I should sow, where I should give, who I should give this offering to. And then just be quiet before the Lord. And soon he will tell you. He will tell you a name. He will tell you what to do with it. And the moment he tells you, say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And then you obey. Call up the person. Find a way to send it across to the person. Now you have obeyed the Lord. You don't even need the person's prayer. No, you don't. You don't. Because him whom you have obeyed will fulfill his word to you. So you say, Lord, thank you. And then when he tells you what to do with it, you say, thank you, Lord. And then you take that offering and you send it. And you bless the name of the Lord. And hear me, hear me. It doesn't matter the recession that will hit the world. You are just going to be gliding. <laughs> when, when, when you need food, food is going to be supplied to you. When you need payment for something, when you need to pay your bills, people are going to ask you, I mean, I mean I'm not paying this. Say, no, we've paid already. Pay? How? How? Because the Lord supplied. <laughs> I've just told you right now how to live in the seasons that are coming. Financially now. The most pressure that the devil puts on people is financial pressure. I've just given you the secret on how to break it and live free. And I pray the Lord gives you understanding. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I have shared your truth with your children. Lord, I ask, give them understanding. 
guide them right and bring to pass your word as you have said. May the season of dryness not find their houses. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Listen, step into this weekend. Enjoy your life. Praise God. Get ready for Christmas. Christmas is next week. Enjoy yourself. Celebrate Christmas. There's nothing wrong in celebrating Christmas. Praise God. I'll see you next week. Until then, bye-bye.